Hey guys, I've got a new tutorial for you and some of you have been asking me how I made the intro for Pepsi Gaming. So basically how I link the effects to the audio. So let me just uh, give you a quick preview. So basically you can see that the text is flashing to the beats. So let me just jump into it. Okay, and before I start with the tutorial, um, I just want you to check out Baker's channel. I'm gonna put uh, the link to his channel in the description because he makes awesome tutorials and I learned a lot from him. So basically, I, I already made a composition, just put in your video and your song and then I'm just gonna create a simple text. and now um, what you want to do is click on this icon over here so the circle appears that means that the layer is soloed if you have any other songs you will only be able to hear this one that you gotta do this because the effect applies to all of the audio layers and you just wanna sample your song layer so now right click on your song Go to Keyframe Assistant and convert audio to keyframes. So that creates a new layer. Just unsolo your song and open your audio amplitude. Go to Effects and both channels. Then click on the slider and also click on this icon so you can see the graph editor. Now just while holding down Alt on your keyboard, click on the stopwatch so you can see this expression bar. Now delete the current expression and type in linear linear begin bracket um, value comma and now drag your mouse to one of the highest points of the graph. So you can see that this value is 39.81, this one is 44.09 and I'm just gonna make it about 40. And then check out your uh, low points like this. You can, see, you can see that this one is 3 and just type comma 3 um, the values are different with every song so you gotta do it, do this on your own now let's say if you wanna link opacity just uh, type comma 100 comma 0 and end bracket now once you've done that go to your layer I'm just gonna go to this text layer and click on this T on, on your keyboard and then while holding on down alt click on the stopwatch next to the opacity like this so this appears and then click on this icon like a little whirlpool and drag it to the slider like this and basically that links the opacity to this value so that means that whenever the graph is at 40 or or above the opacity will be 100 and, and whenever the graph is three or below the opacity will be zero so just pre-render this so you can see that the opacity is linked to the audio and it's flashing according to the audio you can also link other effects like just click on the opacity and delete this so it won't be linked um, now if you want the to create screen pumps screen pumps or anything just create a new layer adjustment layer and go to effects and type in magnify and just put it on make sure that the blending mode is set to normal now you can see that the size is too low, just change the size to about 2000 um, oh, blending mode should be set to none like this and let's just put the magnification back to 100 then open the adjustment layer, and go to effects, magnify and then alt click on the stopwatch next to magnification like this and once that appears, just drag this um, 
drag this line to to the slider and make sure that you change this uh, the expression over here so basically um, you want the, the high value to be about let's say 150 sorry and the low value 100 so basically when when the graph goes to about 40 the it will magnify the entire screen by 100 percent and when it's three or below so when it's quiet um, it will go back to the normal size 100 um, so let's just pre-render it So you can see that uh, the screen is pumping um, according to the audio. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any um, questions, just send me a message or ask it in the comments below. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.